Hello, I'm Kasim Hassan Ali. The National Police Service Commission says it will appeal against the High Court ordering them to repeat the 10,000 police recruitment. Commission Chairman Johnston Cavaludi says the decision was made after analysis of the ruling issued by Justice Isaac Lenola. The recruitment was cancelled following a suit filed by the Independent Policing Oversight Authority which convinced the court that the exercise was marred by corruption. In the appeal, the Commission says it will be seeking to convince the judges that IPOA does not have a legal mandate to supervise their work. We carried out a recruitment in July this year and um, we had some irregularities reported and the Commission carried out an analysis of the recruitment situation and we arrived at the Commission's decision. However, the Independent Policing Oversight Authority went to court to challenge the same. I want to say here, even before I give you our position, that at no time and nowhere in the law is it expected that the Independent Policing Oversight Authority will have oversight function over the National Police Service Commission. The Commission has read the judgment by the Honorable Justice Lenaola, and having discussed the outcome, we have resolved to appeal the decision. The National Police Service Commission has in the meantime appointed seven police officers in the rank of Senior Inspector General of Police. Sixty-three others have been appointed in the rank of Assistant Inspector General of Police and one or two as Commissioners of Police. The Commission Chairman Johnston Cavaludi says a total of 172 officers have been appointed out of 198 officers who were vetted. Cavaludi says names of the officers will be released once they are formally informed. He said the new ranks were in line with the ongoing police reforms set to improve effectiveness within the police service. This is in keeping with good practice, the standing orders, taking note that the National Police Service is uh, a command and control um, institution and there are practices that need to be um, upheld. It is also in keeping with the desirable labor practices. That's why we confirm that the IG who is mandated to communicate shall be communicating these decisions and thereafter will undertake the process of deploying those officers immediately so that they can be up and running and performing where the IG wants them to perform in the service. Bungoma Senator Moses Wetangula was today rushed to hospital after developing breathing complications about a Kisumu flight. Wetangula was treated and discharged at the Aga Khan hospital where doctors said he was suffering from fatigue. He addressed a press conference alongside court leader Raila Odinga and Kakamega Senator Boni Halwale. Kisumu Airport Manager Joseph Okumu told Capital Newsbeat that the senator had developed breathing problems and vomited while airborne as the plane approached Kisumu. Here is Funyula MP Paul Otwoma who was with him in the plane when he started experiencing breathing difficulties, prompting medics to rush him to hospital in an ambulance. I felt some uh, shortage of uh, breath. Uh, alarmed, I alerted the staff on the plane who called out for any doctor present on the flight. Uh, there was a very good uh, doctor who came forward, uh, gave me some first aid. I'm traveling a lot lately, back and forth the country. In fact, he did get in the country last night. He was going to some, some form of fatigue. Embattled ODM Executive Director is expected next week to appear before the party's disciplinary committee. To respond to allegations that led to his forceful ejection from the party's headquarters by a group of MCAs from Nairobi County Assembly. The committee which will be handling its first disciplinary issue after it was set up following last Tuesday's NEC meeting was summoned Magarer to appear before it on Tuesday. In a letter signed by the committee chairman Fred Athwok, Magarer is expected to shed light on the incident and complaints regarding management of the party secretariat affairs. <laughs> Family Bank has posted a pre-tax profit growth of 2 billion shillings. 
As of September 30, 2014, representing a 66% growth compared with 1.2 billion shillings recorded the same period last year. The growth has been buoyed by a significant jump in the net interest income to 3.9 billion shilling from 3.1 billion shilling as a result of an expanded loan book which grew by 28% to nearly 36 billion shillings. The 2014 Kenya Premier League champion will be crowned tomorrow. Either in Kisumu or Nairobi as champions Gormahia and closest challengers Sofapaka contested the crown in a dramatic climax to the campaign. Gor take on free-falling Ushuru FC, who have lost nine on the spin at Moi Stadium in Kisumu, while Sofapaka visit third-place Tasca FC, whose title challenge was ended last weekend. Both Ushuru and Sofapaka have protested against Amos Wanjala, who will referee the Gor game in another twist to the most riveting 90 minutes of football in the season's top flight. For more on this and other stories, do log on to our website www.capitalfm.co.ke forward slash TV. I've been your host, Kasim Hassan Ali.